Really just fundamentals and open field tackling. We got to get our angles back together. We got to get our tackling down. Look like a preseason game as far as tackling. And we know we got to coach it better and they got to play it better. Darian said that you know teams might look at that big film and think, okay, you know what, we'll we'll start attacking them more with screens and copycat leads and, and you know, forcing guys to have to, like you said, you know, step up and make those tackles on the perimeter. How how do you just get that corrected? Is it just a matter of execution or schematically can you make changes? Well, it's been like that last year. It's just a matter of execution as well as helping out with some of the calls. So we understand what's coming at us. It's a big loss. I mean, he was very versatile for us. Sean's very smart. He can go inside and outside as well as play some safety. But Ross has played in a lot of games for us last year, so we'll try to move on from there. In the secondary, especially in the nickel, how much flexibility do you get back having uh, to have Jordan healthy and have him back as part of that group? Well, it doesn't help in the nickel category, but it helps at the safety spot, understanding what he's done for us and what he can do for us at the safety spot. You know, him and Mike are different players as well as Winfield, so to rotate them guys around and kind of put them where we need to put them is essential for us. Give us some perspective. I think people look at this defense has been good for, for a while, and you look at the secondary and go, okay, maybe there were some issues. But, like, overall perspective, if, for people that um, aren't entrenched in the box, like, when you look at your starting secondary on Sunday, I mean, that's a young group of guys still that are learning, right? Well, they're young for the first day, and after that, they're not rookies anymore. And we've told them that, and they understand they have to play. And every year, there's going to be a young rookie that wins the Super Bowl. So, we train them that way. We get them ready to play early, and we make no excuses for their age. And, you know, they understand that, and we play from there. Bobby, he didn't have a huge debut last week, but one is about Pitts, and just what stands out about him, obviously, is he had tight end going in the top five in the draft. There's, there's some talent there. A lot of talent there. I mean, he's tall. He runs routes like a wide receiver. He can block. He's got outstanding hands. They can use him in, in the core. They can use him out of the core. He's a very versatile piece for them. Substantially different on offense, and you're familiar with a lot of the personalities going out there. A lot of the guys are the same. They have some new people, but you know Arthur's done a great job at mixing the run and pass with those guys and utilizing his pieces. Uh, obviously, Gage is still a great player. They got Davis from Carolina. Obviously, tight end has been very good for a long time. So, and the offensive line is together. So they they still got a lot of the same parts. And Matt Ryan speaks for itself. Uh, he's been doing it a long time.